Yeah. La 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 let's learn calculus with group three. Good day everyone. Today, the group three will happily discuss to each and every one of you the concepts of limits. And hopefully by the end of this, we all will understand limits and its intricacies to its absolute fullest. So, without further ado, let's begin today's La 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 Learning Calculus with Group 3. In a function f of x, f of c is indeterminate. Is it correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches the c is equal to f of c? Why do you say so? No, it is not correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches the c is equal to f of c. When we evaluate the f of c with the value of c, the answer we may get may be indeterminate. But it does not necessarily mean that the f of x is going to be indeterminate as well. As directly evaluating, also called as direct substitution, a function does not determine its behavior as it gets closer to C. Take these two examples. f of x is equals to f raised to 4 minus 16 over x raised to 2 minus 4. If the given is f of 2, through direct substitution, we will get 2 raised to 4 minus 16 over 2 raised to 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. Getting the limit of f of x as x approaches to 2, we have to factor the function, which will give us the limit of f of x as x approaches to 2 is equal to x raised to 2 plus 4. And if we're going to evaluate the, the, the function, we're going to have 2 raised to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 8, which is not equal to f of c which is why f of x is not equal to f of c if f of c is indeterminate. Another example I prepared is the function of s of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over x. If the given is x of 0, through direct substitution, we will get the square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1 over 0, which is 0 over 0, or indeterminate. But to get the limit of s of x as x approaches to 0, we have to factor the function, which will give us the limit of s of x as x approaches to 0 is equal to 1 over the square root of x plus 1 plus 1. And, we've got, and we are going to evaluate it, which is going to look like 1 over square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1, which is going to be one half which is another yet another reason why f of x is not equal to the f of c if f of c is indeterminate no it's not correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is infinite. The limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to infinity. Just because f of c is undefined, the limit of a function as x approaches a point is determined by the behavior of the function around the point, but also by the function behaves around it. Example, the function of f of x equals 1 over x. This function is undefined at x equals 0. But as x approaches 0 from the positive side, f of x goes to positive infinity. On the other hand, as x approaches 0 from the negative side, f of x goes to negative infinity. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 does not exist. In short, you must use concepts like limits, continuity, and asymptotic behavior to examine the behavior of the function surrounding an undefined point in order to find the limit of the function. 
In a polynomial function, is it correct to say that limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c? The answer is yes. In a polynomial function, it is correct to say that limit f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c. This is because polynomial functions are continuous everywhere, which means there are no breaks, jumps, or asymptotes in the graph. When it says limit f of x as x approaches to c, it's asking what value f of x approaches as x gets closer to c without actually reaching it. In a continuous function like a polynomial, like a polynomial the limit as x approaches to c is simply by simply the value of the function at c which is f of c. Example, the polynomial function f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. Find the limit as x approaches c for this function and let's compare it with f of c. So let's say the value of c is equal to 2. So limit f of x as x approaches to 2 is equal to limit x squared minus 3x plus 2 as x approaches to 2. So the first thing we're gonna do is to substitute the function x squared minus 3x plus 2 to 2 squared, 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2. Then we're gonna simplify it to 4 minus... 4 minus 6 plus 2 which is equal to 0. Then the next is to solve for the value of f of c which is f of 2 equals 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 minus 6 plus 2 equal to 0. As you can see the limit as x approaches to 2 and the value of the function at 2 is are both equal to 0. Therefore limit f of x as x approaches to 2 is equal to f of two. This shows this shows that this polynomial function, the limit as x approaches to c, is indeed equal to the value of the function at c. So that's all for today's episode of La 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 Let's Learn Calculus. To sum it up, f of x as x approaches to c is not equal to f of c if f of c is indeterminate. The limit of f of x as x approaches to c can be infinite if f of c is undefined. If c is not in the domain of f of x, we can still estimate the limit of f of x as long as the values near c are defined. In considering the function f of x is equal to the, func the square root of x rather, the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c. And lastly, in a polynomial function, it is correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is indeed equal to f of c. So that's all. Thank you and I love you.